Tonight, an NBC6 investigation into Caribbean Cruise Line in Fort Lauderdale. It's more of a travel marketing company than a cruise line, and it seems to have merged in the awake of another business that got into serious trouble with the law. Bob Hernan signed up for a cruise, and he says he thought he was getting a good deal. A cruise for two nights and four days. If I took four people, it was only $59. And that was the only fee that was mentioned. In all, 84-year-old Bob Hernan paid $618, half of his monthly Social Security, for what he thought would be a great getaway with his daughter and two sons. My dad was really excited and really wanted to go on this vacation with the four of us. But the family says when they tried to book the cruise... There's $129 just to get on the cruise for processing fees. And it didn't stop there. Each person is paying gratuities, fuels, and fees. They range from $24 to $75. In the end, that $600 cruise was going to cost $1,600. Money Hernan couldn't afford. Daughter Mary Hernan did some cyber snooping. All I found was complaints. Complaints online, more than 500 at the Attorney General's office, which, by the way, says it is investigating the company, and more than 1,400 complaints with the Better Business Bureau, which gives it an F. Mary Hernan called Caribbean Cruise Line. We don't believe the package is what he expected it to be. We'd like a full refund. The customer service rep insults her. Sir, I'm not stupid. He refuses to refund the money. What the Hernans didn't know know is that Caribbean Cruise Line is in the business of selling travel packages. It turns out people connected with the company have been in trouble for deceiving customers not once, but twice before. Who can I contact? And Robert Mitchell is the president. NBC6 investigators tracked down Robert Mitchell to ask him why he wouldn't return Barb Hernan's $600. Mr. Mitchell, why don't you talk to us? Mitchell's company is at the same address as a company with a similar name, Imperial Majesty Cruise Line, and they both book cruises aboard the Bahamas Celebration. Imperial Majesty owners Jim Barillo and Dan Lambert got into trouble for practices similar to what Caribbean Cruise Line customers have complained about. Five years ago, a Florida judge banned them from charging fees above the advertised fare, ordered them to conspicuously disclose the fuel charge, and ordered them to pay $16 million in fines and restitution. That is a hefty fine. Joe Papcota is a Miami attorney specializing in financial misconduct. He says the state often has a hard time collecting penalties in these type of civil cases. And they don't care if the corporation gets a $50 million judgment because the corporation is going to get dissolved and they're going to open up a new corporation. In fact, Barillo and Lambert did dissolve Imperial Majesty. They did not pay a penny, saying their company lost $1.3 million. Only one thing's better than having fun, and that's having more fun. It turns out the pair first got into trouble selling vacation packages 16 years ago. Back in 1999, their pitch man was TV personality Robin Leach, their company Plaza Resorts. You'll never forgive yourself if you miss out on a slice of the good life. All three men were named when attorney generals in 18 states and Washington, D.C. Attorney generals in 18 states and Washington, D.C. began suing them for deceptive business practices, such as not stating the total cost of the trip, including fees. This is where Caribbean Cruise Lines is located. Robert Mitchell is the owner of record. But NBC6 investigators found evidence that Lambert and Varillo are connected to the company, too. This document shows Plaza Resorts, the company sued by 19 attorneys general and Dan Lambert, sponsor Caribbean Cruise Lines employee stock program. Experts say a sponsor has to be part of the company. Where are the men who failed to pay the millions they owe in fines and restitution today? I'm here to see Jim. James Rillo lives in this six-bedroom, 15,000-square-foot home in Lighthouse Point, which real estate website Zillow values at $7.5 million. 
Daniel Lambert put this nine-bedroom, 18,000-square-foot home in Fort Lauderdale in his wife's name. Now it's for sale for $17.9 million. He's also reportedly sunk millions into his fight club, American Top Team, and is building a new 45,000-square-foot gym. As for the Hernans, they say people involved with these companies are getting rich by exploiting honest people. The worst thing is they don't tell you the truth. They're taking advantage of them. Well, we thought Attorney General Pam Bondi would want to explain to taxpayers how she plans to recoup the money Lambert and Barillo owe with interest, about $12.7 million, but our request for an interview, that was denied. As for Caribbean Cruise Line, well, it's business as usual. And a reminder tonight, we are working for you. If you have a story you think we need to check out, send an email to team6investigators at NBC6.com or give a call to our tip lines, the numbers on your screen.